Web platform Opera just launched a stablecoin wallet that aims to onboard mobile users across the continent of Africa to Web3. Joining us now is Salo co-founder Renee Reisen- Reinsberg. Welcome, Renee. Hello, it's great to be on. Great to have you here. Now, let's talk about this. It's called MiniPay. Um, why is this wallet, why are you launching this in Africa? And the reason I ask you this is because there are already several ways for people to make peer to peer transactions there, um, whether you're banked, whether you're unbanked. And so, what's the value prop here? Why is this better than some of the solutions that already exist? Yes. Yeah, last week was a really big milestone, uh, not just for Cello, but for, I think, Web3 overall with Opera launching MiniPay. Um, and so maybe to take a step back and, and explain it a little bit, it's a non-custodial wallet uh, that is integrated directly into Opera's hugely popular uh, Android browser called Opera Mini. Um, 90% market share. I think Opera across the whole African continent has 100 million uh, active users. And so uh, really by integrating a wallet directly into the browser, um, you know, really opening up um, a way for more people across Africa to more easily access Web3. And it's primarily a payments wallet, so it's it's very easy to, to onboard. Um, it's, it feels very web 2 you know, and you don't get exposed to any of the scary crypto and Web3 terms. It's very secure. Um, and then it comes with a bunch of uh, benefits enabled by sort of the Salo uh, platform, including that you're able to send payments directly to phone numbers, which is amazing because we all know our friends' uh, phone numbers. And so rather than uh, having to use public keys or even understanding the concept of public keys, that that experience is just super simple, super smooth. Um, And the other benefit is that it's also really easy to on an off ramp uh, to fiat or, you know, mobile money. And so I think a lot of the friction that we've seen and, you know, Cello has been, Cell Network has been live over three years. From day one, we've been very focused on real world use cases and have a very rich ecosystem of applications that's trying to bring the benefits of Web3 to real people. And maybe a call out here that, you know, most real people access the internet uh, through a mobile phone, not through a browser, right? And so a lot of focus in the ecosystem on making stuff work on mobile. And so having Opera as really, in many ways, the gateway to the mobile uh, internet across Africa, have a native uh, wallet integrated that works seamlessly is a, is a really big deal. What stable coin are you using as the, uh, as the, the means of transactions here? Is there any specific ones? Yeah, there's one called Cello Dollars. Uh, so it's a dollar stable coin um, that's fully collateralized. It's been it's been around for a long time. It's actually been uh, holding up really well through all the, the recent uh, stable coin sort of uh, tensions in, in sort of the market. And um, yeah, makes it makes it really easy for uh, users uh, to on an off ramp into Cello Dollars from, for example, their airtime kind of mobile money. And I think that's a that's a really a key benefit that in but- the past this cost a lot of friction by by fully collateralized what, what's backing it other stable coins other crypto assets um so that at any point in time the reserve is uh fully you know it's fully transparent so anyone can go to the mento protocol which is the protocol underlying the stable coin uh reserve and, and see sort of all the addresses see all the reserve assets um it's a it's yeah it's a really nice system what countries is this launching in and is there a need for more internet infrastructure for this to actually reach scale? I want to come back to what I was saying um, at the top of the segment. There are yeah. already ways for mobile, um, I mean, for, yeah, for mobile peer to peer payments where you don't need the internet. Are you, are you dependent on more infrastructure being built? Hundred percent, and so we've we've noticed this. And if you take take Coinbase Wallet as an example, um, obviously very popular uh, wallet um, with two hundred about two hundred megabytes uh, size. It's it's quite large, right? Especially for people that are buying fifty megabytes, hundred megabytes at a time. Opera has a long history of giving free you know bandwidth to its users. And uh, MiniPay, and this is really, I think, one of the key highlights and benefits here, is only two megabytes, really. So the, uh, even just for people to, to try this out and have the product is, um, is more of a no-brainer than it is with a lot of other products, including other fintech wallets. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think the combination of ease of use 
being really aware of what are the needs of users on the ground um, and a great mobile experience are really what make um, this product stand out. I'll add, I'll add one more thing, which is um, when you when you think about peer to peer payments, that's really just one of the use cases, right? You have you have a fully fledged Web three wallet, and we're already seeing this. There's um, a way to, for example, just go to you know um, popular DApps built on Celo, like Impact Markets Learn and Earn, and uh, the way in in Opera Mini the DApp is connected to the wallet is super seamless, right? So you get rid of that complicated experience of connect wallet and figuring out, oh, how do I connect and oh, what is MetaMask, right? All of that is abstracted away. So for the user, uh, it's just you know very simple. I mean, coming back to the Mark Cuban <laughs> you know example you gave earlier in the show, um, my hope would be that something like this doesn't happen with Mini Pay because it's it's just a much better experience that is safer for the user and also Opera has sort of a curated list of dApps, right? That they've um, that they're uh, that they've basically looked at, and that experience of allowing people not just to make peer to peer payments or easily hold dollars, which which also is a big deal, and we can talk about uh, that, um, but actually use dApps, right? Use, for example, um, have a pass to earn income in, in stable coins, right? By popular crowd work marketplaces or participate in. Uh, DeFi solutions, even gaming, you know, Yat uh, Animoca mm-hmm. is, is a recent partner of, uh, of the Celo ecosystem. And so we're thinking about, okay, what are sort of the experiences that for us and the rest of the world are maybe much easier to access um, on our desktops, right? But for someone on a, on a, on a, you know, simple Android phone, can we bring some of that same experience? And most importantly, that economic um, participation that Web3 can offer. And, and that's why I'm personally um, so excited that this is launching. Renee, thanks so much for joining the show and congratulations on the launch. Thank you. That was Cello co-founder Renee Reinsberg.